Elon Musk, a pragmatic consumer-oriented entrepreneur, demonstrates a remarkable ability to separate personal sentiments from productive collaborations. In a surprising turn of events, despite any reservations he may have had about Microsoft's co-founder, Musk is embarking on an extraordinary partnership with the world's largest software company. Join us as we delve into Musk's groundbreaking alliance with Microsoft, a move that promises to revolutionize the landscape. Musk's and Gates' public clash, often referred to as Musk and Gate, is a case in point. While Gates did acknowledge Tesla's contributions to the electric vehicle industry, he opted for an electric Porsche over a Tesla, a decision that didn't sit well with Musk. Musk, in response, expressed his disappointment, stating, To be honest, my discussions with Gates have left me underwhelmed. Their discord extends to topics like Tesla's stock, where their perspectives rarely align. Gates has reservations about the viability of electric trucks like the Semi, prompting Musk to accuse him of shorting Tesla. Repeatedly, Gates has faced inquiries regarding his position on shorting Tesla, and he has evaded giving a direct response. On one occasion, he came close to admitting his involvement in shorting Tesla in one of his responses. Furthermore, Gates holds a contrasting viewpoint on projects aimed at advancing human civilization beyond Earth, a stance that directly opposes Musk's aspiration to lead humanity to Mars. Certainly, Musk doesn't shy away from teasing Microsoft either, as evidenced by a recent playful jab on Twitter, although he later extended commendation towards one of Microsoft's multiple products. However, even with these antics, Musk remains undeterred in forging an alliance with the very company that contributed to making Gates one of the wealthiest individuals globally. The enterprise affiliated with Musk has initiated a couple of groundbreaking collaborations with Microsoft that are set to redefine norms. The initial venture involves Musk's rapidly expanding design enterprise teaming up with the colossal software corporation, Microsoft, presently the leading global company in terms of market capitalization and a prominent player in the sphere of cloud services. Recent times have seen the company securing a series of lucrative agreements for its Azure business. In the last financial quarter, the sales of Azure and other cloud services surpassed a 50% increase, surpassing analysts' projections. Notably, cloud sales crossed the $20 billion mark for the first time. Yet, Microsoft is merely scratching the surface with its recently sealed deal with SpaceX, a move that is poised to revolutionize the realm of cloud computing. This monumental stride in cloud computing revolves around a collaboration with SpaceX's satellite internet venture, Starlink. Ironically, Musk initially established the design enterprise with the sole aim of raising funds for his space exploration ambitions. He envisions the business generating an annual income of $50 billion, which he intends to channel into the construction and operation of rockets that will facilitate the transportation of settlers to Mars and potentially beyond. SpaceX intends to deploy satellites in low Earth orbit, which will transmit high-speed internet connectivity to individuals on Earth. The proposed internet service boasts rapid download and upload speeds coupled with minimal latency. Although still in its beta phase, Starlink has already garnered over 100,000 paying users across more than a dozen countries. SpaceX offers a connectivity dish priced at $500 and charges $99 per month through a single payment plan. Musk has committed to concluding the beta program within this year and expanding its accessibility to more participants. Notably, his company has recently achieved a significant breakthrough that enables the production of the connectivity dishes at a lower cost, and they remain dedicated to further cost reduction to mitigate losses incurred with each dish sale. Currently, SpaceX possesses the capability to manufacture up to 5,000 dishes weekly, and the demand is consistently high, with over 700,000 individuals expressing interest in the service. The company has already deployed more than 1,700 satellites into orbit, with plans to launch many more, ultimately providing global coverage. These Starlink satellites are produced within SpaceX's facilities located in Redmond, Washington. Furthermore, it's essential to highlight that the applications of Starlink extend beyond private consumers, as SpaceX actively welcomes business clients. Notably, the U.S. military has conducted limited trials with Starlink, and emergency services have successfully employed the service during wildfire containment efforts in Washington state. This strategic versatility is what Microsoft intends to harness to bolster its Azure business further. 
Microsoft has chosen to partner with Starlink due to its recognition of the value in collaborating with leaders in the space industry to enhance the reach and capabilities of its Azure platform through global satellite connectivity. Microsoft's core mission centers around empowering its customers to achieve more, and this collaboration with Starlink will play a pivotal role in extending access to its cloud computing services, regardless of the customer's location. Starlink will furnish satellite connectivity for Microsoft's mobile data centers, forging a seamless synergy between Starlink and Microsoft Azure. But what exactly are these mobile data centers? Microsoft has unveiled its Azure Modular Data Center, MDC, a self-contained, containerized data hub equipped with its networking infrastructure, designed to establish connections with the cloud via terrestrial fiber, wireless networks, or satellite links. While Microsoft already boasts a vast global network, comprising over 160,000 miles of subsea, terrestrial, and metro optical fiber, connecting billions of individuals across the globe, it now seeks to extend its reach to those operating in remote and challenging environments. It is precisely these demographics that Microsoft is targeting with its modular data centers, aiming to provide them with high-speed satellite internet access. This is where Starlink enters the equation, as it will deliver satellite internet services to these mobile data centers. Thanks to this modular design, companies can operate mobile data centers in remote locales such as deserts or even the North Pole, with Starlink ensuring a high-speed connection. This is achievable because Starlink offers point-to-point -point communication coverage across the entire planet. However, the collaboration between these two companies extends even further. Microsoft is currently providing these modular centers to both defense and private sector organizations, offering comprehensive networking and self-contained data services. These services cater to a range of applications, including military mobile command centers, emergency relief stations, mineral exploration sites, and various scenarios that demand robust, secure computing solutions in challenging conditions. These mobile data centers, resembling shipping containers, offer exceptional mobility and are equipped with computer servers, heating and cooling systems, network infrastructure, and all the essentials for self-sustained operations. Under the agreement with SpaceX, a Starlink dish will be among the equipment housed within these agile data centers. They have the flexibility to operate continuously with a constant connection, intermittently syncing with online data centers via Starlink satellites or functioning completely offline. These data centers are integral components of Microsoft's Azure Space Cloud Computing Platform. Through this partnership with SpaceX, Microsoft aims to seamlessly integrate Starlink into its extensive global network, incorporating Azure Edge devices and leveraging SpaceX's ground stations to enhance Azure's networking capabilities. Microsoft's commitment to this space initiative is resolute, evident in its assembly of a distinguished leadership team, which includes a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy, a former high-ranking executive from the U.S. National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, and a former staff member of the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. As Gwen Shotwell aptly describes, the partnership between Microsoft and SpaceX stands as a mutually beneficial endeavor. Both companies will gain the opportunity to serve shared clients and collaborate on reaching new enterprise and prospective customers. Tom Keen, Microsoft's corporate VP of Azure Global, elucidates the rationale behind Microsoft's decision to align with Elon Musk's SpaceX, noting, SpaceX is, without a doubt, the name that immediately comes to mind when thinking about innovation and the transformation of space technology in the 21st century. Beyond this collaboration, Microsoft and SpaceX are embarking on another joint project. SpaceX has secured a substantial contract valued at nearly $150 million from the Pentagon's Space Development Agency for the construction of four satellites dedicated to tracking ballistic, cruise, and hypersonic missiles. This marks the initial phase of a larger satellite constellation initiative, known as Tracking Layer Trench Zero, with a targeted delivery date of September 2022. In this endeavor, Microsoft will collaborate with SpaceX as a subcontractor. Microsoft's commitment to the space sector goes even further with the introduction of the Azure Orbital Emulator. This emulator provides a simulation environment enabling satellite developers to train AI algorithms and test networking configurations prior to launching any spaceborne crafts. It has the capability to replicate an entire satellite network, encompassing intricate real-time scene generation using pre-collected satellite imagery, 
facilitating direct processing by both virtualized and actual satellite hardware. It's worth noting that Microsoft has previously collaborated with a company associated with Elon Musk. Microsoft invested $1 billion in OpenAI, a company co-founded by Musk. While Musk continues to support OpenAI, he has stepped down from its board to avert potential conflicts of interest as Tesla pursues its own AI initiatives. We would love to hear your thoughts on Elon Musk's partnership with Microsoft in the comments section below.